dry. Hey, I mean, matter. Ness, it's a weird ankle. So, I watched Dynamite last week, or the week before, rather, the Road Ranger episode, and I did not watch Rampage, but I'm trying to find highlights of the show. I know it was sent to me, but anyways. Still, this was a really good two-parter. I mean, this was like something I probably could have done earlier, but whatever. This was a really good show. So we start off with her versus her. Chris Jericho versus Ortiz. Very good match, and I think that they both pulled out all the stops. I mean, look at Chris Jericho's career. Here's a guy that was a cruiserweight and, you know, that eventually, you know, turns him into a main eventer, a brawler, if you will. So, I thought that was pretty cool. This was a good match. Obviously, you have Chris Jericho going over, which, in my opinion, was the right call. It was basically De La Cell, or so we thought, coming out costing or refuse the match but they go on to the ramp way and you have the mask rip off revealing Sammy Guevara so now they're back together that's pretty cool but yeah this was a good match Eddie Kingston comes out and says yeah you know we always do what we say we're gonna do so Ortiz actually grabs the shears and cuts his own hair and then they make a threat for blood and guts which I'm hoping we might do a review for that, but we'll see. So, we have, of course, the Wardlow match with, if he were to defeat 20 plaintiffs, he will avoid Mark Sterling's American Arena Security Professionals lawsuit that was there. So you obviously knew what was going to happen, and yeah, Lord basically whipped all their asses. Lined them up, stacked them up, as Roman Reigns would say, pinned them. There you go. You got Will Ospreay, who defeated Dax Harwood. This was a good match, too, and yeah, I mean, these two guys beat the shit out of each other as well. We know how good Will Ospreay is. So, yeah, he won the match. Very cool. He had the All Atlantic Championship qualifying match. Miro defeating Ethan Page. And yes, this is going to be after we just did the play by play. So, look for that later, I guess. And we all know that Miro won with the accolade. So, that's pretty cool. Nothing to take away from Ethan Page, but there it is. You have Tony Storm defeating Britt Baker. And yeah, she qualifies in the match. And she does lose, but still, this was a good match. Tony Storm is one of those wrestlers that didn't have a great career in WWE, but it's too bad. We'll see what happens with AEW. I mean, she's doing very well so far, so. Yeah, the AEW World Championship ladder match. The Young Bucks defeating Jurassic Express. And yes, as you expected, they pulled out all the stops. This was a fucking war. Really, this was a war. And I think that you have these guys who went to town and yeah, I mean, Nick got busted open. And yeah, this was cool. Uh, it's just one of those things where you have the young bucks get up on the ladders and pull the titles down. You knew AEW take team champions, and I mean, that's pretty cool. After the match, of course, Christian Cage comes out, and do you think he's going to help Jungle Boy and heel turn? Yeah, beats the shit right out of him, does the whole concerto thing. Last week, if you watch Dynamite, 
he gave his reasons, and basically, yeah, I am pretty sure he was justified, and I'm pretty sure we're going to see what happens this coming Wednesday, so we have Rampage, Dante Martin, and John Moxley, of course, Moxley went over, and still a good match, I'm really glad they were pushing Dante Martin, I mean, I really am, I think that's cool, it'll be a few months, or a year, at least, I think, before he gets his hand on a title of some kind, but who knows? But, anyways, there's a trios match. Uh, Max Caster and the Ass Boys taking on Ruff in it, which had, of course, Leon Ruff and Bear Country, which was Bear Bonson, of course, Ball Dirt, and yeah, a good match, too, I'm sure. I didn't see the Rampage, unfortunately, but Max Caster and the Gun Club went over, so that's pretty cool. I want to see more from Bear Country, I really do, I think. It's, uh, you know, it'd be a missed opportunity if it was just left on the wayside. You have the TBS Championship, Jake Cardell defeating Will Nightingale to maintain the title, which I thought was it's very cool to see Will Nightingale, in my opinion, I mean. Wrestling in the Ring of Honor Women's Tournament was actually very impressive, and so Yeah, this was a good match. I'm sure but obviously Jade won at Darby Allen versus Bobby Fish and Yeah, he won but you have a returning sting and Yeah, so obviously that was pretty cool and Bobby is out of action. So, yeah. That was Road Rager, Rampage, and Dynamite. And, again, later on tonight, we'll see the whole thing of Forbidden Door, which my man Cal Kyle and I did. So, check it out. And then if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to his channel. And there it is. Alright. Bye. So, you know that them cutting WCW was a long time coming. But, you know, I think that there's this myth out there that Jamie Kelly is a That's why he you know, took pleasure at cutting WCW. I don't think that's the case at all. If you look at some of his earlier interviews, like 